I want to go over some quick things that you can do to make sure that if you're shooting with a DSLR or you're shooting, it doesn't matter, if you're shooting on C-Log that you're able to expose properly so that when you apply the Canon provided LUTs, everything works. Everything matches and you don't end up spending time trying to fix something in post because that's obviously a pain in the ass. I have a two camera setup running here. So this is my Canon C300 Mark II. It's aimed at the chip chart because this is how I'm going to go through and show what it is that you need to do to make sure that your C-Log settings are set properly. I'm also doing the switch on my own. So I apologize if this is, you know, it is what it is. The big thing is that if, you, if you're one of these new C200 owners, okay, when you are exposing, you're always looking at a LUT on your monitor that is showing you C-Log3. Okay, so that's the number one thing to keep in mind. And the number two thing is that if you're shooting raw, all of the information that is being written to the camera is being written based on the C log two log curve. Those are two very important things to understand. If you're on the C300 or C300 Mark II, then you're either on the C300, you're shooting C log, or you're on a C300 Mark II, you are actually able to monitor in C-Log, C-Log II, and C-Log III. So depending on what it is and how it is that you're then monitoring, then that is how you'll expose, okay? So let me switch over to the camera and let's see what it is that I'm actually shooting in. So I'm gonna click on the menu and I'm going to get out of here quick. Let's see if I'm on a preset. So, so I'm on Canon log three using the cinema gamut log curve. Okay, so this gives me a starting point as to how it is that I'm going to expose. Just for the sake of clarity, if you're shooting Canon log, Canon log 18% um, gray needs to be exposed, needs to be exposed at 34.3%. I got my little, cheat sheet here, okay? If you're shooting Canon Log 2, Canon Log 2, which unless you're shooting on the Canon C300 Mark II, you should not be trying to expose for Canon Log 2 on a C200 or a C100, okay? So if you're shooting on a C300 Mark II and you're shooting and um, using the preset for Canon Log 2, middle gray needs to be exposed at 39.8. 39.8. And if you're shooting in Canon Log 3, like I am in this example, right? Canon Log 3, cinema gamut. Canon Log 3 needs to be exposed, middle gray or 18% gray, needs to be exposed at 34.3%. So let's take a look at what the camera is telling us here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to exit out of this. Now, right above my ISO, you see my exposure reading and you can see that I am right in the middle, right? If I stop down, my exposure goes way down and if I, well, I, I would need to bump up the ISO in order to actually go up or um, bring up the lights, which I'm not going to do because I will be messing up this entire live stream. How do I know that I'm exposing properly for C-Log3 in this exact scenario? And I realized for a lot of the people who are shooting run and gun, this is tougher. It's something that is much more difficult to do because if you're shooting C-Log and your scene is changing and the light is dynamically changing, there are a lot of things that you're not able to do um, because you may miss the shot. But if you're shooting raw or you're shooting in C-Log, on the C200 or C300 Mark II, or C100 for that matter, and you want to match it to another camera, this step is not one that you can skip. Unless you don't mind spending a tremendous amount of time in post trying to make it all work. So that's the one thing to keep in mind. Hey Blocky, thanks for joining, appreciate it. 
So let's go back and look at what the camera is seeing here. So if I'm going to expose C-Log3, which is what my picture profile is, I need to be middle gray at 34.3%. So the first thing I need to do is I need to bring up my waveform monitor. So there it is, and I see I have pretty good exposure. Now, how do I know what middle gray is, right? I would need to be able to zoom in, which I can on this lens, but I cannot fill the frame with just my gray card. And that's key, right? And this is more important for all of you or all of the people that watch my channel that have moved on from DSLRs into this Canon C200. So filling the frame with the gray card or the white card when you're going through this exercise is important. And if you can't do that, Canon cameras, cinema line of cameras, actually have a tool that will make it easy for you to do that. Just going back into what the camera can see, obviously I cannot fill the card. That's a challenge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the menu system and I'm going to go into my waveform monitor. And there's my waveform monitor. Obviously it's on, I'm outputting it to everything, which is why you're able to see it. And then under waveform monitor here, instead of, we don't care about the position right now, but instead of leaving it in line, which is what gives, gives us our Luma curve, I can actually change it. And I'm going to select line plus spot. Now watch what this does. I'm gonna back out of this. Now, in my waveform monitor, I can actually see what the little red box, you see my little red box that's moving there on the gray card? How it's represented on the waveform monitor. That is the easiest and fastest way if you, all you have is your camera on how to expose properly. So let's go back and look at this, at this scene. So I'm in Canon Log 3, middle gray needs to be at 34.3%, right? So I now know that I'm overexposing and I'm overexposing quite a bit. So for the sake of this video, I'm just going to stop down my lens to bring it down. So right there, I'm at the 40% mark and I need to be at 34.3, so I'm gonna go, this is of course an estimate because I can't see more detail between the 40 and the 20, but I'm gonna call that properly exposed for Canon Log 3. Now, let me zoom back out. Go back into my scene. So if this is my scene, that looks like it's underexposed, right? And if I look at the camera at what my exposure meter is, it is blinking up on the underexposed side all the way to the left. That tells me that this picture is underexposed as a whole, except I'm shooting in Canon Log 3. And what I did with that little exercise is made sure that, let's say that instead of that chip chart, that chip chart was actually sitting where my face is, I'm getting the right exposure for my skin tones for the C Log 3 gamma curve. And that is the value of what we just went through. So if you don't have false color, an external monitor, and you don't have the ability to do spot meter checks in your, on your subject, that was the fastest way for us to make sure that we are exposing properly when we're shooting in Canon Log. Now we would go through that exact same exercise if we were shooting in, some, in another different uh, picture profile. In fact, I'm gonna switch the preset to Canon Log 2 and see if it jumps up to that 39.8, which for me, I usually do it right at 40. 
of 40%. But let's see if that works. So I'm going to go menu again, get out of there, go to my preset, and I'm going to select Canalog 2 Cinema Gamut, and then I'm going to back out of there and let me fill my frame with the red box and I'm a little bit overexposed because I'm going over the 40 mark. And there I'm exposed properly for Canon Log 2. So guys, um, this, is, this is all I have for today. Um, I just wanted to go through, I didn't want to miss a video because I told everyone that this is what I was doing. So hopefully you guys find this information helpful. I did record all this, so I will try to edit this down and turn it into a two minute video since that's what it seems like the majority of the people are enjoying and, and liking a lot more. Um, again, thank you very much for joining me. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to do this. I actually have a shoot that I need to be at at 1 p.m. today. So this is the video for today. Um, I'll, again, refine all this for the weekend. But thank you very much. If you found it useful, please do let me know. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Take care.